Welcome, my friend. We're practicing in upcountry Maui on a peaceful bed of pine needles. Today, I have a quick practice for you to stretch and strengthen your upper body. We'll flow from one pose to the next a little quicker than usual. So breathe deeply, connect your breath with the movement, and use your breath to power you as we flow and revel in the strength of your amazing body. Let's flow. I'll meet you seated on your mat. We'll begin by coming to your knees at the back of your mat. Tuck all 10 toes if it feels okay with your body and sit your hips to your heels. We'll sit up nice and tall and then bring your hands behind you coming into reverse prayer. So we're bringing your hands to prayer behind your back. But if it's not within your practice, that's okay. You just take clasped opposite elbows. And once you're ready, go ahead and close those eyes. And we'll take a moment here to arrive and connect. Lengthening through your spine your elbows drawing back in space and opening and broadening across your chest and collarbone. Breathe deeply, connecting with your body within this pose here on this mat. Deep soothing breath in. And then on your exhale, release your right ear to your right shoulder stretching and opening the left side of your neck. And then we'll slowly lower your chin down through center towards your chest and then up for your left ear to meet your left shoulder, tending to the right side of your neck. Slowly lower it back down through center, chin to chest, and then lift up to neutral. And gently release your hands and take your left hand to the mat beside you, reaching the opposite arm up and over, coming into a side body stretch. Spiral your chest to the sky and lift your gaze, keeping both sits bones connected to your heels. And then we'll rise up, switching sides. So your right hand to the mat beside you and the opposite arm reaches up and over. Make sure that that left sits bone stays grounded as you reach your fingertips to the opposite side. Come back to center. From here, we'll interlace your fingers behind your back. Your interlaced fingers draw down towards the mat and press away to the space behind you. Your gaze lifts. Deep, refreshing breath in. And on your exhale, we'll slowly start to hinge forward at your hips. Your arms reach up and over your head as you lower your crown of head to the mat. And we're coming into an inversion. Once your crown of head is kissing the mat, lift your hips as you press your arms to the space in front of you. Your palms yearning towards each other. Slow and steady inhalations. Slow and steady exhalations. Mm, beautiful. Let's lower our hips to our heels and we'll super slowly start to rise up. Be gentle and caring. Once you're ready, untuck your toes and lower into child's pose with your arms extended long overhead. Deep nourishing breath in. And on your exhale, we'll round forward, pressing up into cat pose. Breathe in, ripple your spine into cow, and lower your hips to your heels. Take two more rounds at your own pace, noticing the stretching in your upper body, the sensations and opening as you flow from cat to cow. And on your last one, we'll press your hips up to downward facing dog. Really enjoy our first downward dog here. 
taking whatever feel good movements that are calling to you. Now let's settle into stillness. Your heels sinking to the mat, tailbone lengthening to the sky, chest yearning towards the mat. From our down dog, starting at the tailbone, we'll slowly ripple our spine into plank pose, pause there, then using the muscles of your pelvic floor, we'll slowly lift your hips up to down dog. All right, let's take that one to two more times, moving slowly, slower than you wanna go. Really connect your body with the movement at each step of the way. As you flow, if the body is telling you to take a pause, go ahead and do so in down dog or in child's pose. Honor and rest it out. Feel your strength, connect with your strength, even if your strength is listening to your body. Nice work. Let's come to plank and then to chaturanga, to upward facing dog. Engage your core, your pelvic floor muscles and lift up to downward facing dog. Take three deep soothing breaths in our beautiful down dog. Now let's extend your right leg long to the sky and draw big circles with your toes, stretching and opening your ankles. And switch directions of your circles. Bend into your top knee and begin to stack your hips, your foot flexed. And from here, we'll draw big circles with your knee, massaging your hip joint. Keep the weight evenly distributed in both your hands, your arms rotated externally, and switch directions of your circles, and draw your shoulders away from your ears. The next time your knee is at the top, go ahead and stack your hips once more. From here, circle your knee to your elbow coming into plank variation, and then over to the left elbow, and extend your leg to the sky for a three-leg dog. From here, we'll draw your knee in through center and lift up towards your chest, hug it in, and then step it through to runner's lunge. Glance down to ensure your front knee is stacked over your ankle and that your front and back feet run parallel on two separate tracks, so a nice wide stance. We're setting up for warrior one. So release your back heel to the mat your toes point out at 45 degrees. Once you're ready, breathe in and reach your arms up to the sky, coming into warrior one. Lower your arms behind you, interlace your fingers behind your back, your palms yearn towards each other. As you press down and away, lift your gaze, taking it into a back bend. Deep inhalation through your nose, and as you exhale, leading with your loving heart, gently bow forward into humble warrior, taking your arms overhead, your crown ahead reaching towards the mat, palms press and fuse together. On your next inhale, slow and mindfully begin to rise up. Release your interlaced fingers and extend your arms to the sky. Lift your back heel, coming into high lunge. Breathe in. And exhale, cactus your arms as they lower down, framing your front foot. Front foot steps to meet the back. Plank pose, chaturanga to upward facing dog. Take a moment here. And then lift your hips to downward facing dog. Left leg extends to the sky, 
draw big circles with those toes stretching and opening your ankle and then we'll switch directions of your circles and go ahead and bend into your top knee and stack your hips keep that foot flexed and draw big circles with your knee opening your hip joints keep your weight evenly distributed in both your hands switch directions of your circles feel the external rotation in your arms your shoulders drawing away from your ears stack your hips circle your knee towards your left elbow and then over to the right elbow and extend it up to three leg dog from here draw your knee through center lift and hug it up towards your chest and then step it through coming into runner's lunge take that glance down to ensure your front knee is stacked over your ankle make sure that your back foot and your front foot are on two separate tracks release your back heel to the mat your toes pointing out at 45 degrees Breathe in and reach your arms up to the sky, settling into our warrior one pose. Arms come behind your back and your fingers interlace. Palms press and yearn together. Direct them down and away from your body and lift your gaze coming into a back bend. Deep inhalation through your nose. And as you exhale, leading with your heart, Take that gentle bow forward, coming into our humble warrior pose. Arms coming overhead. Feel the crown of your head reaching towards the mat. Breathing deeply in humble warrior. On your next inhale, slowly and mindfully begin to rise up. Release your interlaced fingers and extend your arms up to the sky. We'll lift your back heel into high lunge and take that deep breath in and exhale slowly cactusing your arms down and lowering them to frame your front foot. Front foot steps to meet your back coming into plank pose and then to chaturanga to up dog. And then lift your hips up, coming to downward facing dog. And lower your knees to the mat. Tops of feet kiss the mat. And hips lower to your heels for child's pose. Take a moment here to just breathe and connect. Breathing into the space of your low back. Noticing where you feel your heartbeat within your body. Walk your fingertips to the left side of the mat, coming off the mat. Your right hand can stack on top of your left to deepen this stretch. Coming into a side body stretch on the right side. Tune in and take note where the stretch begins and ends in your body. Now let's take it back through center and over to the other side. You can stack your left hand on top of the right to deepen the stretch. And return to center for a moment before you walk yourself up. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, a sigh out your mouth. Letting go and releasing. Let's sit off to the side of your feet. Come to the center of your mat. Legs together and extending long in front of you. Point your toes. Hands come behind you, your fingertips pointing towards your body. We're setting up for reverse plank pose. So breathe in through your nose. And on your exhale, press down through your palms and your fingertips and lift your hips up to the sky. Coming into one long line from the crown of your head to your toes. And if it feels okay, you can slowly lower your head back. Use your breath to power you here. Lift your hips to the sky. 
stretching your shoulders and your chest while strengthening your arms and your wrists and your legs. On the next exhale, slowly lower yourself to the mat and make your way to lying on your back. Hugging your knees into your chest. And now extend your legs long. Go ahead and roll over to your stomach. We're taking one more pose to open the shoulders. So once you're there, extend your left arm directly out to the side. Your gaze is over to the right, and then your right fingertips can come to the mat and use them to help roll yourself to the left side, stacking your right hip on top of your left, feeling a stretch in your left shoulder. And from here, you can either take a slight bend in your knees to help you easily hold this pose, or if you want to take it deeper, you can bend into your top knee and lift and step your foot behind you. Notice where you feel the stretch at within your body. Are you feeling any tightness or tension? If so, direct your inhalations to this area. Feel how the inhale expands and opens this area. Now let's slowly lower your body back to center and switch sides. Extending your right arm directly out to the side your gaze is over to the left and we'll use your left fingertips to help roll yourself to the right side, stacking your left hip on top of your right. You can take that slight bend in your knees or to deepen, you can bend into your top knee, lift and step it behind you. And connect with your body here. Noticing where you're feeling the sensations at within your body. And if the sensations are tightness or tension, go ahead and use your breath, directing it to this area. And let's lower your body back to center. Make your way to lying on your back. We're coming into Shavasana next with an arm variation. So once you get set up, with your legs extended long, taking up as much space as you wish, I invite you to cactus your arms, bending at the elbows and then resting the outside of your arms to the mat. One gentle stretch as we lie in Shavasana. Allow yourself to settle into complete stillness, my friend, and enjoy this final moment soaking up all the amazing work of your practice today, connected with your personal strength in your body and in your mind and in your soul. Begin to bring awareness back to your body. You can wiggle your fingers or toes or take any feel-good stretches before you roll over to your right side. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a long, slow exhale out your nose. With your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward, Go ahead and press yourself up and come to a comfortable seated position. Once you arrive, let's take a moment here to notice how you're feeling now compared to whenever we joined each other on the mat today. Take a deep breath in, gathering love and light as you reach your arms to the sky palms kiss, and we lower, bringing all that love and light down to heart center. Raise prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourselves and thoughts of others. Hands lower to prayer at your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as you nourish your body. Hands lower to prayer at your heart, 
setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. Comment below and let me know how it went. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the latest Yoga Love released each week. From my heart to yours.